Howdy, Simmers. I haven't built too much with For Rent since it came out. Like, obviously, I use a lot of the items from the pack, but the actual residential rental system I haven't really used. And there are a couple of reasons for that. The main one being that For Rent is really buggy. A lot of people are having issues. Their saves are getting corrupted. So I don't really know how many people are even actually downloading or using residential rental lots right now. The other reason being that residential rental means multiple families living in one building and... That means a lot of people to accommodate for, and that means really big builds. And I am not someone who builds really big builds. But I decided to suck it up, so I have built an apartment complex, and this build took me a little over three hours. I built it in like one afternoon into the evening, and yeah, it took me forever. But this apartment complex has six apartments, and each apartment is a different color of the rainbow. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And I know the actual colors of the rainbow we have, like, indigo. But I wasn't about to build a an entire apartment using a color that's, like, in between blue and purple. You know, I don't even think we have stuff that's actually indigo. So I just went with the basics, and I think it turned out fine. But you may notice that I have used rounded walls again for this build. I used them recently with my my first pet store build that I did recently. And I don't know, I think I was going through like a very short phase where I just wanted to use round walls. And I, I don't know, maybe I just wanted the build to look a little more interesting, but three of these apartments have rounded balconies. So that that's fun. <laughs> Now, the outside, I feel, is very unassuming because the inside is so colorful. But the outside, I made kind of like an unnatural stone color. It's very blue on the outside. I just didn't want it to be, like, super lame and just basic stone. So it's a little colorful on the outside, but still, like, yeah, I don't know. Um, I actually built this on a lot in San Myshuno. There's a little lot up in the, uh, I believe it's the Spice Markets. Um where there's a house called, like, the Salt Lake House or something like that, and that's where I built this. But, yeah, this took me so long to do. <laughs> so I, I basically furnished six apartments, and they all have their own, like, kitchens, living space, bedroom, bathroom kind of thing. So I basically furnished, like, six houses, almost. It, it's insane. It took me a really long time, but... I think at the end, it all kind of worked out, and I'm okay with it. But, yeah. Uh, I will say, I do end up making some changes later on, because there got to a point where I realized that I kind of stopped being a little bit more creative with the colors and just focused on, like, one thing uh, with the wallpaper, that is. So I ended up using just, like, the same wallpaper in every single room of an apartment without like changing it out it could be the same color it didn't have to be like the same pattern and i started kind of in the beginning i was doing that where i was having different wallpapers as long as they were the same color and then towards the end i realized that i was like using the same one so after the recording i will give you a tour of all of these apartments and you'll kind of see the changes that i made um i also ended up re-uploading this after I had already put it on there because I realized that I forgot to do, like, outdoor trash cans and mailboxes <laughs> when I put this on the gallery originally. And so if you saw it on my thing twice, if you got, like, two notifications for it, that would be why. But, yeah. <laughs> I will say, I think I had the most fun furnishing the apartments that actually had balconies because it was my way of making them kind of look more unique and personalized because I gave everyone, like, different things to do on their balconies. And for every apartment, I gave them these, like, really big open windows, and it's fine. I don't know how to build apartment complexes or, like, community lots of any kind, so I build these little, like, cute enclosed houses, typically. So th this is a little bit new for me. And the layouts of all of them are interesting. Most of these apartments, I will say, are only one bedroom. So I think the only apartment that we have in this entire thing that has two bedrooms is the purple one. And all the other ones are just one bedroom. So this is definitely, like, not an apartment that you'd want to move families into unless they're all, like, living in the individual apartments. Because uh, there's just not room for all of that, so. 
I think I made the mistake of starting with landscaping first because I know there's this whole like bug where terrain paint and stuff can disappear after you reload into a lot. And that's probably why I decided to just do this build in one setting because I didn't want to have to do all of the landscaping stuff again in terrain paint. And yeah, not that there's really a lot of landscaping here. I don't recall putting down that much. Um, usually because any like community lot or like a part in apartment complex i feel like they keep their landscaping to a minimum they keep it very neat and such it's very uh sculpted as i've used before and i don't know it's just usually very simple and yeah <laughs> i think i use like the same four flowers just everywhere trying to mimic the environment around it and it's okay i, I will never claim to be good at landscaping i know i'm not but yeah it took me forever to get into the inside, I'm realizing. Like, <laughs> I, I think the outside, I was really trying to just make it look like a decent apartment complex. But we're finally moving into the builds, and I'm just pulling out some flooring and stuff for each apartment. And honestly, this voiceover kind of stuff, like, I probably won't do commentary for, like, the full thing. I will probably turn some music on at some point, because I sped up this footage, and the sped up version is still like 23 minutes long. So th this was a very long build. But moving into the red apartment. So all, like I said, all apartments have like one bathroom, one bedroom, except for the purple one, which has two bedrooms. Um, I'm going through, making sure I get all the doors added in. But the red apartment was the one that I started with first. I kind of worked my way up uh, from red to purple. And if I had to say which apartment was my favorite, I'd actually probably say the blue one, but the red one is fun. I don't even really like the color red, and so <laughs> I, I don't know. I just think red is one of the more like vibrant colors in The Sims, and so it kind of makes it look really nice. Yes, I did put the kitchen in front of the windows. Uh, don't come after me for it. I don't have a lot of space in these apartments, okay? <laughs> they're, they're all fairly small, I feel. But each one does have a trash can and a thermostat, I think, and also a fire alarm. I make sure those are in every single apartment. So no matter which one you live in, you're safe. Um, I put this red tile as backsplash behind the kitchen, and I really like it. And yeah. <laughs> I will say, I feel like out of all of these apartments, the red one is the most cramped. Uh, I just... I think with the layout, it's kind of weird so i will say i also feel like when i was doing these apartments i kind of overdid them on the color this build is basically the solid color challenge times six so i use a lot of like very colorful things i don't have a lot of stuff that's just like the color with the accent you know it's not like white with a red accent it's red with a white accent uh, <laughs> it's a little bit much um but I, I did my best. I wanted to stay true to the color I was using. So that's what I did. I probably went overboard. And it's fine. But yeah. I, I, I don't know what I'll really to say. I have kind of the same blueprint for all of my builds, I feel. Even with like solid color stuff. Like I, I have a list of things that need to go in each room. So obviously bedroom. I have to make sure there's a dresser. The bathroom, there always has to be some kind of, like, rug in front of the shower, bathtub, or whatever. Uh, because that's just my thing. It's like, if you don't have something to step on when you get out of the shower, you're gonna slip. And obviously, Sims, that's not the case. But, like, I, I do it for realism. Uh, and that's very real in my case. So, the red balcony has a little grill and some potted plants and a little table there. Uh, and that is their balcony. I think the blue apartment's balcony um, is probably the best one. It doesn't have as much, but, like, it, it has a hot tub, okay? <laughs> so that automatically makes it just the best one. Um, the orange apartment... Orange is so weird because we have so many different shades of orange and none of them are good. And I hate the color orange so much. But... <laughs> It's just awful. But the orange apartment has a computer, which I don't believe the red apartment has one, unfortunately. So 
it, it's fine. Orange gets a computer, red does not. But yeah, I think for this apartment, I actually go for a lot more like darker accents with the orange. I think orange and brown is usually a good combination. And I have like maybe some black here and there. I don't actually know. I, I just feel like the orange and brown is more fitting. But this one has a little chair kind of next to um, a bunch of bookshelves. It's got like a little reading section. I'm trying to remember if any of these apartments have like a proper office space. And I don't think I gave any of them that, unfortunately. So it is what it is. Um, let me know in the comments which of these apartments you would prefer to live in. Um, I think as much as I love purple, I think the blue would probably have to be mine. And actually with the purple apartment, it's more of like a purple pink kind of thing. I kind of combined the two. It's fine. Um, Orange also has an aquarium, which I always forget that there are aquariums in the game that you can like put down in your houses. So it's just not something that I think about. And so Orange has an aquarium. And this bathroom is so big, I realize. So I ended up giving them a shower and tub separately to kind of fill in the space. And yeah, I put rugs in front of the shower and the tub because I couldn't find one that was long enough to go across there. But yeah, and now I'm trying to remember if I give any of these apartments laundry because I feel like a lot of these bathrooms might have been kind of on the bigger side and laundry probably would have been good somewhere and I don't remember anymore. I built this like last week or so, uh, so I don't remember too much about this. I do remember I hate the yellow apartment because I hate the color yellow almost as much as I hate the color orange. Um, I, I probably hate yellow a little bit more than orange. So yellow just has the weirdest combination of shades of yellow. We have some like pastel ones, but then we have these very vibrant shades of yellow. And I, I just, I hate it. <laughs> so this apartment comes with a sectional and... I don't remember what else. So I'm so sorry if this commentary absolutely sucks. Like, I don't remember what I built because I built this so long ago. <laughs> but, like, I was really not in the mood to do the commentary for this build last time because it took me so long to build this and my energy was just completely drained. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, I think at this point, though, I am probably going to leave you guys with just music and we'll talk about any other apartments uh once we get through the tour so i will see you then enjoy the music
firstly, if you got through all of that, I applaud you. Thank you for sticking around. I know that was a lot. Secondly, here is the build. So you can already see like every single color through the windows. I think it actually looks really, really nice. But I I'm very proud of how this build came out. Oof, going through another building. <laughs> so of course, I never paint any of the ceilings. So that that's just how it is. But I I'm very fond of this build, I think. Considering that this is like my first apartment complex that I've ever built, I think I did really well. But we are going to slowly come in through the front and I did furnish the hallways too. So we come in here, you can already kind of see this little planter here. And like I said, I did end up re-uploading it with some changes because I had adjusted some of the wallpaper. I added things like mailboxes, just anything that I forgot. So we have the mailboxes here. We have a little just couch kind of sitting area over here. And we're going to start in this apartment because this is the red apartment over here. So we walk in and I know that this is a small apartment, but I really do like this. I think that the layout is really nice. We have just a small living room over here, kitchen and dining over this way. It's actually really, really cute. <laughs> like I am not a big fan of the color red, but I think that that apartment came together really well. And then we have the bathroom, which isn't too bad. We have a little like double counter. We only have one sink, it's fine. Um, we have a little shelving storage thing here with towels and we have that shower tub combo. And then coming over this way, we have the bedroom. Very, very nice. And I put these two like giant mirrors on this wall on either side of the window and I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, we have a TV stand in here and that has a radio and a bookshelf on it as well. So lots of activities there. And then we are going to come out here to our first balcony and we have that little grill. We have some, uh, what are they called? Plant pots or whatever. And we have that little area there. And this is kind of a nice view, just like of the street. You get to just chill. I think there's usually some kind of market over there, like maybe the flea market or something. So you'll be like right next to that. And there we go. That is... The first apartment done. Now we're going to go across the hall into the orange apartment. So in here, I, I think, well, firstly, I am a big fan of colors. And if you didn't know that, you know that now. So I like having all of these different colored rooms. And I think even like orange, as much as I don't like the color, this still kind of looks nice. Uh, I just love the vibrance, I think. But we have a little kitchen here, and I did change this wall to have some kind of unique backsplash to it so it wasn't all just like this boring orange everywhere. We have a little living room over there and the big window, so you can also kind of get a nice view of whatever festival ends up being over there. Then we have just like a little computer space. Down here, we have a very small dining space. This hallway is a little bit crowded, but your Sims should still be able to get through there. We have the bookshelf and then a little chair at the end here. In here is the bedroom. So we've got just that. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of this accent wall that I put in here, but I mean, it makes it look kind of unique. And there we go. And then you look out here, you got some nice flowers there, and you can kind of see like the ocean behind you. So I, I think I actually really like the view from like every angle of this build. I, I just think everywhere kind of looks nice. And then we have the bathroom. And yeah, this bathroom isn't anything special. <laughs> Orange is not my favorite color. I don't hate this apartment though. But we are going to slide out the door and we are going to go up the stairs. And we all have these little, like, thin stairs here, so that's fun. Uh, up on this floor, we just have, like, a fuse box and the water heater. I thought that would be fun to kind of add in. And we're going to go into this one next. This is the yellow apartment. And we have the sectional here with the bookshelf and the TV. Some nice plants here. We have a very small dining set up over here. Then the kitchen's kind of crowded. It's very small. I feel like a lot of these kitchens are, though. Um, through here, I believe, is a 
bedroom? Yeah. Okay. So this is the bedroom here. And I realized at some point that um, some of the items that I had put here got deleted. So I had to kind of add those back in. But like the computer setup that we have here got deleted. And that was fun. Oh boy, it's doing stuff again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, again, really nice views of some stuff. And this apartment also has a balcony. So it's just got a little like bench and a table here. And then there is a flower arranging table over here, but I didn't actually give them any like flower pots or anything. So you could kind of play it as like the red apartment people maybe grow flowers and then give them to the yellow apartment to like arrange or whatever. I don't know. J just kind of a fun idea with that and then we have a bathroom over here and like I said I couldn't remember if I put any laundry in any of these any of these apartments uh but I did so this is one of them <laughs> I guess we're gonna get out of this view though because it's freaking out a little bit but yeah so we just have that bathroom there and that does have a double sink to it over here we have the green apartment and the green apartment is very, like, nature-based. I don't know. I, I feel like that just comes natural when, you know, building any kind of green space. Um, but this is equipped for a cat, so any cat owners could live here. We have the cat tree. We have a little pet bed here. There's a bowl here, and then there's a litter box in the bathroom. But I really like this kitchen. This apartment has the biggest kitchen out of all of them, I think. Um, and I use this new tile from, I believe it's the Home Chef Hustle Kit stuff pack i don't even know anymore but it's got a nice island there so it doesn't have like a proper dining space which is fine um but then we have the bathroom over here so very nice and like i said it has a litter box and then i think the bedroom is my favorite spot in all of this because it looks very like nature fairy-esque so i combined two curtains i used these like green vine ones with these ones from i believe high school years uh, that have these little like butterflies on them and it's just really cute now i do believe that these actually clip into the purple apartment upstairs however if you're living in one of these apartments like if you're living in the purple one uh, i don't think that the curtains will actually like show up from clipping or anything because you know that's how residential rentals work you live in one you don't see the other ones at all so that might not actually be a problem <laughs> But then we go upstairs here, and there's just a little chess table. Uh, there is some art on the walls, typically, and I thought I had another plant here, but maybe it got deleted. It's fine. Coming into the blue apartment over here. I, I feel like the blue apartment is, like, the most modern out of all of them. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it has this, like, giant TV here. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go back into the, this mode. If it's not freaking out. But, oh my gosh. It's moving really fast. I don't know why. Um, but we have a little dining space here. Back here we have a very small kitchen. Okay, no. I can't do that. <laughs> it's moving way too fast. We have a bedroom over here, which is really nice. Got an easel in the corner. Another TV. So it's very simple. I like it. Then we have the bathroom in here, which is another uh, laundry space. So I really like it. And then we have the balcony for the blue apartment. It has a little cooler, a chair, and the hot tub, which your Sims can access by getting over here. I don't know if they can walk through this section, but if your Sims need to get to the hot tub, they'll just go on this side and it'll be fine. And then finally, we have the purple slash kind of pink apartment. And the reason that it is purple and pink is because a lot of the objects are more of like a purple pink, kind of like these counters. They're not like full on like deep purple. They're more of like a purpley magenta almost. I don't know. A little bit more purple to them, but still. <laughs> and that has upper cabinets as well. But yeah, so I really like the living room space. My idea for this apartment, because this is a two bedroom, is that like maybe it's a young adult living with like her kid's sister or something. So some kind of like sister household, um, but we have just a little dining space there. I hung these things up. I don't actually know what those are, but I thought they just kind of 
gave that wall something kind of interesting. <laughs> and then we have the bathroom over here. Uh, nothing too fancy. I put two robes to kind of like indicate, you know, big sister, older sister. And yeah. <laughs> and then we have the bedrooms here. It's a very simple one for the older sim, but they have a little laptop set up here. And we have a little crafting table here. And then this is the kids' room, and I do change the wallpaper to this from just like a plain purple. I kind of liked the flowers a little bit more. I didn't take into account the decal here, but it looks fine. So, <laughs> but there we go. I really like the space. I really like these apartments. I think a lot of them came out really well. Yeah, so that is the Rainbow Apartments, and this is available for you on the gallery. When did I actually put this up? Because I know it's been a little while. <laughs> <laughs> um, I put this out on January 30th, so that kind of gives you an idea of how long this has just been, like, sitting in my library. Or, I guess, sitting on the gallery page. But yeah, it's 227,139 simoleons, so that it's a lot. But I hope you guys like the build, and again, let me know in the comments which apartment is your favorite and which one you would live in. Uh, I do think it would probably be for me either the blue or the green apartment, I think. I think those two are probably my like top ones. But if you would like to download the build, it's on my gallery page, The Sibin Koala, with two A's at the end. I always have it in the description for you guys if you ever want to download anything. And yeah, I am probably not going to build anything like this again, or at least not for a really long time, because that took me so long to build and it also took me a really long time to record this video so i hope you guys enjoy and i hope you guys like the build and let me know if you guys use it and what uh, apartment you have your sims move into because yeah i don't know I i'm really happy with this build but with that i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel and make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss anything be sure to follow my socials links are below i'll see y'all soon bye